Namika Ahirwar, Associate Professor in the Department of Science and Technology at Jyoti Vidyapeet Women's University, Jaipur. Today I am going to take the lecture on the subject name Production and Operations Management. And today's session is on the Production and Operations Management case studies. In the Production and Operation Management, there are various case studies which are found and some of these case cases I have discussed in this session and the cases are like product development risk, conflict of interest, project delays and the jet inaction, service blues. These are the five cases uh, which I will discuss one by one. In the case one that is product development risk. If a firm or if a production company develop a product then of course there might be a chance of risk also. So in this uh, like just uh, giving an example if you you uh, you have the opportunity to invest 100 INR billions for your company to develop a jet engine for commercial aircrafts then the development will span five years right so the final product costing rupees 500 million per unit could reach a sales potential eventually of rupees 2500 billion so so the new engine can be placed in service five years from now okay so we have to test, uh, take, take risk for these five years in between today's and the later five uh, in between the these years but only if it qualifies four years from now for certification clearing commercial use and only if it meets america's federal aviation administration that is faa ever tightening standards for noise reduction so thus this certification also have to be obtained from india's uh, director general of civil aviation that is dgca okay so there is competition from the world class manufacturers like uh, pratt and whitney and rolls uh, royce who are developing com competing engines okay so here if you decide to proceed with the project you must also uh, determine whether the new engine will be produced and develop the manufacturing facilities and if you decline to proceed your company could invest its resources elsewhere and based on its track record get attractive returns so the question is what would be your line of action in case of lengthy product design and development time what kind of risk are there so these two questions on the basis of uh, these you have to prepare your strategy you have to take the decisions whether you should move on or you will decide to uh, decline uh, decline okay so this is a risk because there is a long period of five years so these uh, the period of this five years you have to take the decision so on the basis of the competition on the basis of the current scenario on the basis of the future aspects you have to decide what um, action you will opt right so the next case is conflict of interest the GM works has problems with manufacturing budgets, meeting costs, production targets and dealing with new products, manufacturing schedules. When an in-depth interview for directive type was conducted between the GM works and the chairman of the company, so this GM works is this explained that many things are happening in the company about which he is ignorant right and especially means particularly the preparation of new product integration so after that 
he agrees to the view that the company is interested in high growth or high profit but he has never been given an opportunity to review his own scheme of things and explain to the top of management right so that culture of production of the company has never been used whereas the stringent rules are being directed by the finance and personal departments so of course there is a, always a conflict between because your interest is uh, this and your management uh, requirement or if you are or as per the finance so there is always you can say the conflicts right so uh, uh, there are some uh, you know the companies is introducing new products without accessing the capability of the manufacturing system and the resources so under the above situation if you are asked to work as a consultant to show the perspective of the board of management what action plans would you suggest and the second thing is does business process reengineering that is bpr helps in situation like this so go through these uh, questions and on the basis of this you uh you find solution because conflicts are always there in between them so the third one is the product delays uh somehow there are some resources problem there are some uh, other uh, issues uh, regarding so uh, somehow uh, there are some delays of project like the uh, some uh, gas cracker project conceived as part of the some accord signed in 1985 is yet to see the light of the day it has been plagued by a host of problems starting with locations of economy viability so originally planned at uh, tangagat and it was later shifted to the place called uh, lepatkata so this project is now being implemented by gail a government of indian enterprise as a leader promoter 70% share with another public enterprise oil that is 20% share and the government of assam as minor partners so have you seen because the project is shifted okay so this is the reason behind ki how much uh, Uh, uh how much time you are facing for the delay so there, there are some uh, of course opportunities like uh, like the government or other stakeholders would uh, uh, will come and take you know, this project as team, team leader so that, that is the another scenario now the, this gale has to be brought in another in after india's largest private sector enterprise alliance industries which is backed out of the product sorry project saying that it was economically unviable so what you have to do the land acquisition for the project as of mid 2008 is yet to be completed and there is still a lot of uncertainty regarding the availability of raw materials for production in the meantime the project cost was parent many times over the 50 and billion which is likely to go up further so there are basically three questions first is to discuss the importance of project management in the light of the above situation then as the project manager employed with gale what would be your line of action to see uh, to it that the project is not delayed any further uh why do uh, project suffer from time and cost overruns right so these are some questions on the basis of these questions you have to take the decisions or these might the some studies for which your product will somehow delay or conflict the interest like okay so there are some cases of the project management operations and project management so this is all about today's session we will discuss the next cases in our next session uh, so thank you so much
This session powered by digital version 2.0, Jyoti Vidya Peet Fogans University. Hope you are satisfied with my digital session. If you have any query, please mention in comment box. I will resolve it. Thank you.